What's worse than a pub with no beer? A country with no beer. We're a wee way off that, but a nationwide shortage of liquid CO2 could halt beer production for some brewers. Alexa Cook reports. Brewers rely on CO2 for carbonating beer, packaging it and purging fermenters. But with only 7 to 10 days of CO2 supply left, Garage Project might be forced to halt operations. We'll have to shut down production. The cost of CO2 has tripled in the past six months and breweries, big and small, have struggled through ongoing shortages. Yeah, I mean, this is our peak time of the year. It's summer, it's beer drinking weather and we can't package beer, so it's a, it's a disaster. A disaster because since the Marsden Point refinery was decommissioned last year, the only domestic production of food-grade CO2 is at the Kapuni plant in Taranaki, owned by Todd Energy. But it's been closed for two weeks while a safety issue is investigated and the company can't say when it might reopen. Craft breweries are struggling, uh, it's going to impact wineries, it's impacting food producers, uh, anyone who's using CO2 in their production process. The gas is widely used in food and drink production, hospitals and wastewater treatment. CO2 is definitely a um, vital gas in New Zealand and an important part of um, the gas that we need to keep our country running now and in 50 years time. BOC buys this liquid CO2 from Todd Energy in Taranaki and sells it around the country. They said in a statement they're currently prioritising supply to medical, water and safety customers. Some companies make their own CO2 or import it, but many rely on the Kapuni plant, which the Brewers Association says isn't sustainable. They want a better long-term solution. While we transition, we are reliant on the resources that we currently have. And it could end up costing Kiwis. Undoubtedly, I think there is going to be an impact. An impact that could leave brewers and beer drinkers feeling a bit flat. Alexa Cook, News Hub.